And Samsung is also having its day in court. The smartphone maker and Apple squared off at the Supreme Court. The issue? Patents and how much Samsung should pay Apple after jurors found Samsung infringed a patented iPhone design. Hampton Pearson reports. Samsung has been ordered to pay all the profits it earned from 11 older smartphone models for illegally copying patented designs from Apple's iPhone. $399 million so far, a judgment it wants the Supreme Court to overturn. An 1887 law requires patent infringers to pay total profit. Apple believes the law is on their side. The legislative history shows Congress wanted, above all else, to deter copyists and cop knockoff artists by requiring them to disgorge what Congress called the total profit from the article of manufacture that is sold. It's the first time in more than 120 years the high court has taken up a product design lawsuit, with a majority of the justices willing to consider limits on profits tied to specific components, a potential win for Samsung. We think the court gave a very careful and serious hearing to Samsung's argument that a rule that gives all the profits on a product for a design patent on a narrow portion of the appearance of the product is bad for business, devalues the other patents in the product, and is bad for consumers. A high court ruling expected next spring could have ripple effects across high tech. Justices must balance protection for lucrative design patents while not stifling innovation, as smartphones become almost indispensable worldwide, generating enormous profits for their manufacturers. Even if Samsung gets a win from the high court in the dispute over patent profits from previous products, it pales in comparison to Samsung's current problems with this generation of smartphones. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson at the Supreme Court.